Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie, and today we have another $2 outlet thrift haul, all of which is to resell on online platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, but in my case, mainly my Instagram, at Curated by Natalie, if you aren't already following it. This haul has brands to be on the lookout for, which I may refer to as bolos, vintage gems, and just some really unique style-based pieces. This is a cumulative haul, meaning that I sourced it at both the Goodwill outlet as well as the Family Thrift Center outlet. Both places average out to about $2 a piece. Let's get started. The first pickup that I had today is this amazing vintage moto jacket. This is 100% leather. It has all of these crazy zippers and pockets and belts and just, it's so stunning. Such a cool piece. It's a size medium. The comparison pricing on this, which I may refer to as comps, was amazing. Like 100 to 150 one that was actually the exact same as mine, this moto style with the belt, was listed at $250. So I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit more research to figure out exactly how much to price this gem at. But it's so unique and so amazing. I'm really obsessed with it. It's so quality. I just picked it up because it did not have any flaws on it. A lot of times vintage leather has a small rip like at the elbows or you know some kind of smudge but this one was pristine so i picked it up put it in my cart and then i got to sorting it and i saw the comparisons on it and i was so stoked so really excited for this gem the brand on it is contempo casual in case you see it out and about i never pass up vintage leather if it's in good condition because the resale value of vintage leather in good condition is really great um but this brand in particular is extremely awesome so be on the lookout for that this was just a style based funky vintage pickup this is a vintage puff jacket with the coolest color blocking i love these tones ski wear is super in in the winter and i have seen that it should be in again this coming season but either way it's just such a unique vintage piece comparison pricing on vintage ski wear is pretty high a lot of times 50 to 75 sometimes even more really just depending on the piece so i was really excited to pick this up at the outlet okay this was just a goofy pickup honestly i posted it on my instagram to kind of gauge how people liked it and honestly i've got a lot of horse girls following me we joke about it but this is a fun vintage horse cardigan if you can see it's got embellishment all along here really cool beading down the front and again another horse on this sleeve it's a size large and it's just the coolest piece ever i love the way it just is immaculate like it's such perfect beading it's the brand just be it's a size large i honestly didn't really look at comps on this because it's just a fun piece i actually have a couple of other horse pieces and i think i'm just gonna do a fun little instagram post where it's like where are my horse girls at and have all of my horse pickups in the post available for sale but of course with my hauls on youtube if anything ever sparks your eye you can surely reach out to me on instagram and snag it before i post it for a bit of a discount this is just another style based pickup it is vintage it's the brand b moss um i don't think that this is anything in particular but it is a really nice material it's angora which means it's rabbit fur and it's a really cute light gray sweater vest it's fuzzy material too it's so sweet and sweater vests are really in this fall i just loved this piece i feel like it'll look so cute either layered or on its own so fun it's a size small um really cute piece this is another vintage piece that i picked up this is a chouse sport denim duster jacket it's a size medium and it's really long so it's hitting my ankles 
I'm 5'6 for reference. Actually, it's hitting like right above my ankles, like shin to ankle area. But button front, front pockets. It's like a long chore coat, but this one is specifically for women. I decided to go ahead and get this one because sometimes funky vintage pieces are hit or miss. And this one I'm thinking is a hit. I did look up comparison pricing on it and it was looking at about $50. Um, and if it does not sell on my page or on Poshmark, I know that a vintage resale shop will buy it off of me. So it was a safe pickup and a really cool one. Now this next piece is a brand to be on the lookout for, for sure. This is the brand C, S-E-E-A. This is a size medium. The comparison pricing on this swimsuit was $75 sold on Poshmark. These retail at $125 to $150 and they hold their value really well. I was just digging through and I felt this piece and I knew that it was quality so I stuck it in my cart and I looked up the resale value on it and was so excited. I'll show you all the tag so you know what it looks like too. Great piece to pick up. And they were still selling into August, which is super exciting. Um, this is a really fabulous vintage maxi. Really awesome detailing here and unique detailing down at the bottom as well. So there's a fun, it's like a fairy-like style maxi. Really fun detailing. This is a really popular style. Sometimes I go into TJ Maxx or Target and I've seen that they have pieces that kind of mimic these true vintage maxis. So that is so exciting. I always think the true vintage is much cooler than retail knockoffs. This is a size large, really gorgeous piece. I love the lace up up front as well. This next dress is the sweetest dress and so perfect for Valentine's Day. I know we're just in fall, but it's a pretty little thing faux heart wrap dress. So it's got the wrap here and then it carries down to the bottom as well and has a little flutter at the bottom. It's a size US 16. Just look at that print. It's so perfect for Valentine's Day. I love it. I may have to just hold on to it and wait to list it on Valentine's Day if somebody doesn't snag it now, but we'll see. I do tend to do that with some of my inventory, hold on to it for a specific season, just because it's more fun to post like that on my Instagram. This next piece is just perfect. So there is a girl that I often see at the bins, her name's Hannah, um, and you know, we're just kind of like bin besties. She saw that I had this sweater and was so mad because it was so cute. Like she was just like, why did you find it? Why did I not find it? And I mean, I feel the same way with a lot of her stuff, but it's just funny to get these kinds of reactions with the finds, but it's the perfect grandpa fall sweater. It's a size large. It is a golf brand. Um, I've been finding a lot of golf stuff. Don't know why, but really fun piece. I'm super obsessed with it. I think it'll do really well. I know grandpa's sweaters do well regardless of what platform you're selling on. Um, so they're a great piece to pick up. This next brand is a reseller bolo for sure. This is Patagonia. I was so excited to find Patagonia yet again at the outlet. This is a size women's small and oh, I'm just so excited. I love finding Patagonia. It's a great seller. This one is so soft. I love the color for fall. It's just a perfect find. So obsessed with finding it. I always advise checking all of the fleeces when you're at the thrift store because you never know. It might be Patagonia. It also might be No Boundaries, which don't pick that up because that is Walmart. <laughs> And I found corduroy. Y'all know I love corduroy. This is the most fun corduroy jumper dress. It has little pockets at the front. It is a size large. It's the brand Northcrest, which I have resold Northcrest corduroys before. Just a really great staple closet piece. Perfect for fall too. I don't think that black shows up the best on camera, but when I layer it and I style it for Instagram, I think it'll look really good. 
I love this corduroy so much. There is a little bit of fading from the common colors on this pocket. There is a slight bit of purple. I think some of the blue and some of the red got on it, but it's really faint. It's not too harsh. Um, and it's just such a cool corduroy. I could not leave it behind. So it's got a blue arm, red on one side, green on another, tan arm, tan collar, and then green on the back. It's just such a unique piece. It's a size medium, 100% cotton, such a cool piece for sure. This is just the most fun vintage sweater. This is the brand Superline. Honestly, I did not even look up comparison pricing on this because it's just so fun. It's a size regular. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe it's just like a neutral size, like it'll work for like a small, medium, large, but it's this glitter black with a feather collar. So cool. Oh my goodness. And it's got a little tie neck. It's just such a fun piece. So unique. I couldn't leave it behind. And these kinds of really unique vintage pieces, I do obviously list them on my Instagram, but I find that they're hit or miss a lot of times. I think I've mentioned that before. So I always have a vintage consignment shop as backup. So that's why I will take risks on buying these vintage pieces just to see. Um, and then, you know, gauge whether or not it's worth picking up that exact style and I'll report back to y'all. This is definitely a piece worth picking up. I have done really well reselling vintage fringe. This one is 100% leather and it is the coolest fringe cardigan so it's got buttons here at the front crochet fringe at the bottom and crochet throughout this mid chest area it's a size large and i'm telling y'all it is the coolest piece ever it's so cool country Ugh, it's just such a stunner there is a flaw on it so the armpit has split right from the seam connecting it to the body but this split is super clean so it should be really easy to go in there with a needle and thread and attach them back together um but we'll see i'm obviously not a seamstress but i have high hopes that i can figure this one out because it's a really clean rip there is like no damage at all it's literally just the seam split so I think that that'll be a really easy fix. Otherwise, it's in perfect condition and I am so excited for her full potential with the armpit fixed. I thought this was another Patagonia, but it's not. It's Athleta, which is also a great brand to pick up sometimes. It kind of varies, but this is a larger size. This is an extra large and I've had experience reselling Athleta and larger sizes tend to do better. So I picked this one up. It's very Patagonia-like too, which definitely will do well. Nice tan color, has this quilting on it and quilting is in this season. So there were a lot of things going for it. I decided to get it. Cool piece. Definitely am a little bit more picky now with Athleta. I have started to put some of it back, um, especially if it has wear, if it's a really small size, but larger sizes, on season pieces, etc. definitely worth picking up. So I did pick this piece up and I think it will do well. This sweater, oh, she's gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. Look at this. It's just the perfect cozy sweater. Oof, it's a size medium. I do believe it's a men's medium, but just the print, the texture, it's just perfect and it's really soft. It is just acrylic, which does have either it's really hard or it's soft. So this is a nice one that's soft. So I definitely snagged it and just, I'm so obsessed with it. It's so perfect. And finding white at an outlet store that is in good condition is just so exciting. And I found another white piece and I picked it up. 
This does have a small flaw in it. I do need to pop this one in the wash. Um, I noticed when I was steaming the other pieces that this one does need a little TLC. This has a small stain here, but it's very surface level. I have high hopes that I can get it out. It's a Taylor Swift Vibes sweater. It's a size large. It's cotton Rami mix and just a really cool vintage piece. I'm so obsessed with it. It'll look so good layered in the fall. This, oh, this dress is amazing. So this is a really awesome vintage blazer dress. Like look at these details. It's so cool. The checker print, the double breasting at the front. It's a size 10, which it looks more like a 6, 8. A lot of times a vintage 10 does tend to run smaller. But this piece is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It just looks like a movie star piece. Like one of those pieces you see in, I don't know, like why I'm thinking of Mad Men, but just some vintage show like that has like vintage-esque characters. Like I feel like I could sell this to a movie set. <laughs> How granny core is this one? It's amazing. So granny core is basically just very grandma-esque pieces, but also a little bit neutral and cottage corey. And this one is just like to the T textbook definition of granny core. Such a perfect sweater. It's hand knitted, which is awesome. And it's again a cotton Rami mix. Really cool piece. So obsessed with it. It's so stunning. I have a small collection of granny core sweaters and I'm excited to post those too. Another corduroy piece. This one is the Gap. This is a size medium. I love this color. So perfect and just a really cute cut too. I like that it's a jacket. You know, I think most of the times when we think of corduroys now, we think of the shackets, but I feel like a corduroy jacket is so perfect too. So I'm excited to have found that piece. Then I found some really classic vintage mom jeans. These are vintage Liz Claiborne. They are seriously so high rise. I mean, look at that rise right there. These are an eight short. They do look true to a size eight and a really nice, light wash, classic mom jean. I feel like the mom jean closet staple really will never truly go out of style. I know that some people are trying to make low rise jeans have a comeback moment, but I think now that we've all transitioned to the high rise, they'll never leave for sure. And the last piece of this haul is a lovely vintage LL Bean wool coat. This is flannel lined. It is a men's size large, but it's definitely super gender neutral. Really classic, perfect piece, lovely for fall. So into it. And yeah, that's all for the haul today. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, you definitely should. You should also like this video as well as follow my Instagram at Curated by Natalie. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye. Oh,